Well, hello there. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I'm going out tonight. It's not a big deal. I'm just going downtown to a place called The Alley for an event called Amp the Alley. And what they do is every Thursday night in this area that they call the alley. And what it is, is it's an actual alley downtown that they refurbished. And there's restaurants that have patios that front onto the alley. There's a walkway. It's very pedestrian friendly. It actually, it's totally pedestrian friendly because you can't drive a car down there. On Thursday nights, they bring in music, live music. And I think they do other things as well. So the name is Amp the Alley because they bring in an amp and people come down. There's a little farmer's market. There's some crafts booths. People are eating. They're walking around. It's really kind of a fun little community event. So I thought I'd go down tonight. Just clean myself up a little bit. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm so glad you stopped by. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And <laughs> make sure you sign up for my email newsletter list. The link is down below in the description box. Just click the show more little arrow, it'll drop down and you can click a link. It'll take you over to sign up for my Sunday email newsletter list. I send out a Sunday email every Sunday clearly, where I talk about all the great finds, the tips and tricks, and just the good stuff I learned during the week that I think is worth sharing. It's super easy. It's super fun. It's super free. I hope you'll join me for my Sunday morning email. So I'm going to do a little bit of makeup today. I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup, just every now and again. Mostly I've been wearing my skincare. I'm going to start off today with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is really a beautiful primer. It really is. However, <laughs> You can get almost the same thing with the NYX Marshmallow Primer at a fraction of the cost. And I used to have the Marshmallow Primer, but I gave it to my daughter <laughs> when she was visiting before I moved, and I haven't picked up a new one yet. So I'm going to use the Tatcha today. It really is a beautiful primer. It goes on and it feels like silk, so they named it very well. My next step is my Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius. I'm still still loving this. This is my holy grail. What it does is a formula that really holds on to my concealer, but look what it does to my under eyes even without the concealer. It color corrects very nicely. It gives a little bit of luminosity underneath my eyes, and I have forgotten to do my concealer so many times when I use this because my under eyes look a little bit better. So still loving this one. For eyeshadow primer today, I'm still using the MAC paint pot in the color Painterly. This is actually an eyeshadow, but lots and lots of people have been using this for an eyeshadow primer for a long time, probably over a decade. I just started using it or I tested it a couple of months ago and I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and use it till I don't like it anymore or until it gets empty. <laughs> one or the other. I'm going to do a very simple eye look today. I haven't done a complicated eye look, gosh, since I think before I moved. And I'm really liking the almost just one and done look. I think it's very flattering and it's super easy. Okay, <laughs> so this is going to be a little chatty. And what I want to talk about is bread. I'm not kidding. I want to talk about bread. And specifically, I want to talk to any bakers out there. And when I say bakers, I mean the kind of bakers that love creating that loaf of chewy, yummy, whole wheat goodness with all the nuts and the grains in it. You just live for the perfect sourdough loaf of bread. The thought of putting together a yummy muffin just sends you into delight. <laughs> If that is you and you've ever wanted to live in a small town, we need you here in Aiken. That's one of the things I've noticed about Aiken. Can you hear the train <laughs> in the background? Just a little aside, is there are so many good restaurants in town, but I haven't found a bakery. There is a small French bakery and restaurant that's actually right down the street from me that I can walk to super easily from my house, a little too easily have been there for treats a couple of times, but they only have a few items. They don't do breads. They don't do sourdough items. They don't do those yummy, rich, just homemade loaves that you crave. And I would love to have a bakery in town. So if that's you, we need you here in Aiken. And I've also noticed that downtown, there are some open shops. In other words, there's some places for rent. So you could find a place to rent and start making yummy breads and I would be there a lot. 
I don't eat a lot of breads. This is my City Lip Clear Plumping Lip Gloss. I don't eat a lot of wheat products lately because there's so much glyphosate in the wheat. It really does upset my body. But when I can get a good organic bread, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. For eyebrows today, I'm going to be using the Kosas Brow Pop. I have been using this for quite some time. I really do like it, and I'll have to say it is probably the first high-end brow product that I thought, you know what, that's kind of worth the money. <laughs> The only thing I wish is I wish that they would come out with an even lighter color. This one is blonde. Here, let me put it on the back of my hand. You can see it. But I would like it if it was even lighter than that. Because my hair is so light, I have seen the look of lighter brows on some other makeup gals, and I really like the look. But we're going to go in with this today and just sort of shape the brows out. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal H Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. I was so surprised at this foundation. So many people love it, me included. It really is very, very good. Here's the curious thing about this foundation, at least one of the curious things. First of all, it looks beautiful on the skin. I wouldn't think a balm would work for very mature skin, but it really does. And the color looks darker in the container. When you get it on your skin, at least for me, it lightens up. So so don't be scared if the light looks too dark because for me it certainly works and gosh I'm almost glow in the dark pale so I'm just gonna press that around my complexion I don't want a whole lot of makeup on my face I just want to even things out today and just give me a little bit more I don't know, softer look this foundation looks so creamy on the skin very light it wears really well just covering up some of my age spots on the sides of my face. Now I'm going to go in with my Sigma sponge and just really press that in. So now that I've talked about having a bakery in town, I'm really craving that. Oh gosh, you know a baguette? You can go and get a baguette and just a little bit of brie cheese and slice up an apple and have that for dinner. Just so very yummy. There are a lot of very, very cute shops in downtown Aiken, and I'm going to take you guys on a little tour coming up soon, probably when it's a little bit cooler, so I can walk around during the day and not be sweating. It really is a darling little town. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look at that foundation. It really has evened out my skin. It looks so very natural and it wears really nicely. It's not that expensive. I think it's probably a little under $20 or something like that, depending on where you buy it. I really do like it. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Kosas. I love almost everything I've tried from Kosas. As a matter of fact, I can't think of anything that's been a stinker. Maybe not every one of their products is my favorite in that category, but everything I've tried is really very good. I keep thinking I'm going to do an entire Kosas look. Clearly haven't gotten there yet. Maybe during the winter when I'm not out tromping around town so much. These are my BK Beauty brushes. I finally unpacked my brushes just this morning. I'm not kidding you. It was like the last box. It was a tiny little box, and by golly, there were all my brushes. I had been using just the little travel kit that I put together for myself since I've been here, and it's been, gosh, almost two months now. <laughs> But I finally did find my brushes this morning and I was glad to stumble upon them. Now I'm going to go back in with my Sigma sponge and just press that in. This is a nice little concealer. I'll have the color that I'm using down in the description box along with everything else. You know everything's going to be linked and listed down below. So nice job concealing my under eyes. You know it's curious. I wonder if you guys have the same thing. I have one eye that's puffier underneath than the other. <laughs> this one is always puffier. Do you have that as well? I suppose it's like feet. You know, two feet can look alike, but they're never exactly the same. Same thing with your under eyes. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. Really, really like this. So I just get a little bit on my brush, tap it off, and just press that in. I don't want very much. I just want to set that concealer down. For contour today, I'm going to use a product I haven't used in a long time that I really, really do love. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Contour in the color Amber. You can see 
how much I've loved this. I rarely hit pan on anything ever just because I'm always trying so very many products. But this one I really fell in love with. Gosh, that container is a little dirty. Sorry about that. The reason I like this so much is it's really a deep shadowy color. So it cuts out a contour really nicely on my complexion. Just gonna start working it around the areas that I just want a little more shadowy look, a little bit more angles. Give myself a little bit more cheekbone. And then of course, always under the chin. You know, I haven't been using my red light as regularly since I moved as I did before I moved. Oh my gosh, I can sure tell in my neck. I don't know why I can really see the difference so clearly in my neck, but boy, I sure can. When I am not using my red light regularly, I can tell a difference. And I just, it's curious to me, it's the ATP that gets into your skin and just really works with it because that ATP is the spark that helps with healing and regeneration of your skin. It just seems to liven everything up and just firm and tighten. So I'm trying to do it every single day, at least for the next couple weeks. Hang on for a minute. I'm gonna go get some bronzer just to bronze things up and warm things up a little bit. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I picked out the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is really an interesting little palette, and I have the travel size. There's two sizes, the regular and the travel size. I just picked the travel size because it was less expensive. I've had this for a long time. Look at it. It looks like I've hardly used it, but there is something really magical about the bronzer in this palette. It looks like nothing in the compact, but once you put it on your face, it is so very pretty. Just warms things up in just the most natural, lovely way. You know, one thing I can say about Charlotte Tilbury is that she is a genius with color. When I pick up something from her, the color is just spot on. She really does a great job with coloration. See, isn't that pretty? Just warmed the complexion up a little bit. Nothing too dramatic. Looks very natural, but just a little bit warmer, a little bit more, I don't know, healthy looking. For blush today, I'm going to be using this little compact from Catrice. Now, Catrice is getting a little bit harder to find these days. I believe that they're no longer on Ulta, and I think almost the only place you can get Catrice is on their website. Does anybody know if they're available in store anywhere? The thing with Catrice is that they really are beautiful products at a drugstore price. This blush is so pretty. It has kind of a gold reflect to it that when you put it on your skin it just looks so very yummy. I think it's called shimmering hibiscus. I tried to read the back. I can't see it. <laughs> I will have it listed down below. But look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? It has a little bit of glow to it. I'm hanging on to the summer glow as long as I can. I know we're heading into fall. I'm just not quite ready yet. Of course I always say that every year and then when fall comes I'm just over the moon thrilled. So isn't that just so pretty? Mmm. Love that color. Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and blend all of that in. When you put your blush on in the beginning, it can look strong, but what's going to happen is that it's going to blend and fade into your skin. And in addition, when you put your blush on, it raises the blood in your cheeks level so it looks a lot stronger than it's going to end up in just a few minutes. So don't be afraid if it looks a little bit much in the beginning, it's going to tone down. Isn't that just so pretty? Happy with the complexion. <laughs> it's amazing how much better my skin looks with just a little bit of makeup. Funny how that happens, huh? For a highlight today, I'm going to be using the Revlon Skin Lights. This is in the color Daybreak Glimmer. This is another drugstore product that you probably don't want to miss out on. It's really good. It'll last you forever. It's a great affordable price and it looks beautiful on the skin. This is one area where, you know, drugstore did it as good or better than high end. I'm just going to put a little bit I'm always on the end of my nose because I can't help myself. Runs of the cheeks just a little. I always say that and then I go back in <laughs> with another layer. I like a little bit of glow. I think it's pretty. Okay. Back in with that big fluffy brush just to work that into the skin a little bit. Mm. I'm really happy with how the complexion's looking. For eyeshadow today, I'm just going to do a quick look. This is the Tarte Tartlet Juicy Palette. Isn't that pretty? If you like pinks and neutrals, oh my gosh, this is right up your alley. And of course, the formula is really beautiful. I'm going to go into the shimmery pink color right up here. 
Get that all over my brush and that's going to go all over the whole lid, almost all the way up to the eyebrow. Isn't that a pretty color? Really light and fresh. Like I said, I'm holding on to summer. <laughs> I know we're in September. I know. I know. Now I'm going to take my trusty flat brush. I'm going to dip it into this darker color right here and I'm just going to create a little bit of depth on the outside corner of the eye. So just a little bit on the outside corner, drag it along the lash line and then up into the crease just a little bit. This is really just a quick application and it just creates a little bit of interest and depth and focus towards the outside of the eye. Super easy to do. I just like to make sure I get it along the lash line and just about a third of the way in on the crease. Now I'm gonna go back in with that big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend that in. Super quick, super easy. I think it's really pretty. Now I'm going to go back in with my finger, dip it into that same shimmery pink color right there, and I'm just going to tap that right on the inside two-thirds of my movable lid. And what this is going to do is it's just going to give more of an opaque layer of that shimmer color so it's a little bit stronger, and it kind of makes the lids pop a little bit. I always like to curl my lashes before I tight line. Tight lining with the L'Oreal Lay Liner. Still in love with these. I have two colors in this liner. I get the Noir Cashmere, which I think is the black, and then whatever the brown is, and I use them both a lot. So as I tight line, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on getting the liner in between each of the lashes. Not so much on the skin underneath my eyelashes, but in between those lashes so it really deepens the lash line. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Base and the L'Oreal Voluminous Noir Balm Mascara, and I'll be right back. To finish off the complexion, I'm going to use the Hourglass Powder in Dim Light. This just gives the prettiest little finish on your skin. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. For lips today, I'm going to be using a combination of the NYX Pencil in Whipped Caviar and the Milani Lipstick in Peony. This is really a pretty combination. You can see it right there. Here we have the finished look. Oh gosh, that was a lot of fun. I haven't done a makeup video like this in a while, so I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'm going to head off down to Amphi Alley. I'll bring you guys along with me and show you a few scenes of what the party is like down there. I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle over the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.